Hello, my lovelies. It is Ipsy time, and I have my regular bag and my, is it the Glam Bag Plus? Yes. Anyway, we have Ipsy. This is a look from my Juicy Jazz and Milani review. So if you haven't seen that, I will link it in the cards on one of these sides. This month is December, my birthday month, and it has everyone's horoscope on the inside. And I am a Sagicorn. I am born on the cusp. So I have to read both. Also in the box, it gives you important dates to remember. Ipsy pop-up is uh, going on now and December 20th through the 24th is the end of the year flash sale. So good things to know. I have been loving Ipsy lately. I will also link my other ones. I have gotten good stuff. So let's talk about the mini glam bag. It is a very cute bag. It's pink with like this gold on it. Loving it. And I will show you what I got. So first is this vintage liner. It is their cashmere lip pencil in mocha. I'm trying to batch film because I'm going to Florida and I'm going to be vlogging my Christmas trip. So trying to batch film before I leave so that we have videos for next week. I don't want to get behind again. This is a nice mocha color. Focus. There we go. And it is creamy, but not too creamy. I don't know if I show myself putting this on, but I did enjoy it. And I even put it in my little bag to go. Next up, we got something from Trace Luce or Trace Luce. It's uh, Becky G's new makeup company, and it is a Intenso liner. I got it's a gel color pencil. I got it in the shade Grounded, and it's this really beautiful. I'm so happy to have this color. I don't have anything like it. It's like this grungy, grungy brownie green. It's so pretty. I used it yesterday and it did last in my waterline all day. So I'm super happy to have this. Next up, I got the Ultra Repair Oil Control Moisturizer. I will be putting this back for a giveaway or giving it to someone because First Aid Beauty uses essential oils and it burns my skin. And I use tretinoin, which makes it a little more sensitive. So I will not be using this, but I will give it to somebody who needs it. Okay, I got a really cute brush and now I can't find it. Okay, I got a brush. I can't find it. I used it yesterday, but I will, there may be a video. If not, I'll put a little picture of it here, but it's the S Miss Glam, S Miss Glam or SS Miss Glam, something like that. It's cute brush and it worked great for highlighter. So overall for 10 bucks. Oh, one more thing. Sorry. The next thing I got was this little press pigment trio hip dot x mystic nouveau and these are the shades dusk statuesque and muse this is a really cute little three pan and i will swatch it for you now that is a pressed glitter however it feels more like a shimmer i have never felt one so nice so let me swatch these and you'll see how smooth it looks on my hand. So there you go. Isn't that a beautiful little just three pan? Gorgeous. That glitter looks really smooth. So we may have to take this one with us. So that is the little base bag. I really like it. Um, yeah, other than the moisturizer, I can use everything. It's things that I can use every day. Um, this should be super cute. Look at the reflect on that. Ooh. That'd be a good like New Year's Eve topper. Now it's the Glam Bag Plus. This is an adorable bag. This would be a cute gift bag. It's got little shiny gold stars on it. This blush color is really pretty. So the first thing, and I believe this is one of my choices. This is the Elemis Peptide, Elemis Peptide Eye Recovery Cream. I have used this for a few days now. I love it. It is great under makeup. I've been using it at night and in the morning, and I'm not an eye cream person for those that know. But this soaks in really well under your eyes. It's a good prep for makeup. Um, doesn't affect the makeup, but it does keep them from kind of looking crusty. So if you like 
a supplemental eye cream. This, this has been great, but it says the skin synchronizing eye cream with Elemis Peptide 4 and Star Arvensis. Not sure, never heard of that. Helps reduce the experience of dark shadows for younger looking eyes. So we'll see if this does anything for me, but I do like how it feels. Next up, we have a palette. And this is the Miami Light Press Pigment Palette. Uh, this is by Shana B. Miami. Now, I have a Shana B. Miami brush that I received in one of my Ipsy bags. This is one of my favorite brushes. So I was excited to try out the eyeshadow palette or pigment palette, excuse me. This is a beautiful color story. I love, I love, I just love these tones. It does have, again, a pressed glitter in it, but it's very smooth, cleans up pretty easily for glitter, but I'm showing you a little look here that I did with it. It wasn't patchy, it was nice. The mattes are smooth, creamy, they're opaque. The shimmers are nothing to write home about. I would say they are more, this white one especially, the ivory one, is really more of a satin. And the other ones are just kind of okay. But I was still able to make a very cute look. I did end up putting some uh, She Glam liquid eyeshadow, which is kind of like the Stila Glitter and Glow or Shimmer and Glow. I put a little of that over it just to pep it up a little bit because we like sparkle in this house. But yeah, I'd say the shimmers are more matte, are more satiny. But again, you can create a really cute look and the mattes perform great in this palette. So I'm happy to have that because I really, I really don't have these tones, like especially this gray. This gray reminds me of one of the ones in the uh, Beetlejuice palette and this red too. I feel like those two were giving me the feels of that Melt Beetlejuice palette. So happy to have this. And it's, it's a good weight for such a small palette. It doesn't feel cheap. Next up, we've got a bronzer. And this is from a company, I picked this one also, called Shades by Shan. And I'm looking at the website and this is so cute. So Shan was a TV and radio talk show host in the San Francisco area. Why did I say San Francisco? Um, <laughs> she's the founder and CEO of Shades by Shan and the Mama Berries nonprofit. And proceeds from her brand go to the Mama Berries Foundation. And what it is, she grew up with a single mother. I'll put a picture right here. And a portion of the proceeds from each purchase goes to support single parents in need through their 501c3. They sell online and across the West Coast. Their small but mighty team has come together to create a very beautiful difference in the community. That is so sweet. It's cruelty and paraben free. You can see me putting it on. It is a really, really beautiful shade. Actually, let me compare it to this one and see. It's literally almost the exact shade it, this this busy art bronzer is just a little shade cooler, but if you're fair, this worked very well on me. You can see me applying it. It was a little warm, but it's still a pretty color, and I actually do like a warmer bronzer in the summer, so I think this will be great. Really liked it. Very smooth. Here, let me swatch it. Pigmented, very creamy, very smooth. Loved it. I'm going to be putting the retail prices up too. Up next, I did pick this. It was the Complex Culture. I've really been enjoying this brand in our Ipsy bags. They just, they have good stuff. It's expensive, but it is. This feels luxury. This thing is so heavy. I will be, you'll see me putting it on. It is beautiful. So you open it up. It's got this gorgeous mirror. This is plastic and heavy, very heavy, really nice packaging. The mirror says complex culture and there is a little like parchment inside. And one side says apply one shade or a touch of both onto apples of the cheeks for a flushed 
for a flush of glowy color. And then that one's called the subtle glow. This one's called the total glow. Sweep the deeper shade onto apples of the cheeks. Blend in the lighter shade of blush up towards the cheekbones, towards the temple. And it's kind of giving you a little diagram here. It's very cute. These are the shades. Very, very pretty. This pink one looks like it's not going to be anything. I will swatch it next to the bronzer, but it is pigmented and it does show up deeper on the skin. It's kind of like that Dior blush in that it looks like it's not going to be anything. But those are the colors. This one, as you can see, is a glowy blush. This one is kind of a, just has a sheen. It's not really glowy. But this is absolutely stunning. And I just can't say enough good things about this brand. I love their brushes. I love their products so far. So super happy to have this. This, again, it feels great. Also, let me see something. Oh my gosh, this is a magnetic palette. I saw the holes on the bottom. Sorry, I don't want to blind y'all. I saw the holes on the bottom. Yeah, these are uh, magnetic. Just pop it back in there. Oh, that's so cute. That makes me even happier. And the last thing we have is from another one of my favorite brands. I'm telling y'all, Ipsy, they've been giving great choices. They've been having good brands, but it's Oma Beauty. And this is one of their badass icon uh, matte lipsticks. And I keep it PG-13 on here, so. And I love on what it says on the lipstick. A bad bee does not talk about being a bad bee. That's right. How cute is this? I love Oma Beauty's packaging. It feels very luxe. It's got the magnetic closure. This is in the shade Maya. Look at how absolutely gorgeous that is. This is another one that looks very matte, but just feels amazing. There it is. It's super beautiful, super creamy and comfortable, pigmented. This is one swipe. You'll see me putting it on, and it is absolutely gorgeous. I'm so excited to have this. All right, y'all, that's the Ipsy haul. Bars, shout out to Brittany Vaughn. Um, yeah, once again, I'm super pleased with my Ipsy bag. Um, I think, like I said before, I think BoxyCharm's on their way out. I decided to give them one more month, so we'll see what kind of nonsense I get this month. But yeah, they're on, their Boxy's on the chopping block. They've been... Ipsy's been killing them, so I'm super happy with this. I didn't get any add-ons this time, but I, you know, I almost had a full face. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, make sure you subscribe and hit the like button for me. It helps me so much. You guys are amazing. As always, take care of yourself and each other. I should see you one more time before Christmas. Um, but if I don't, have a happy holiday, and I love you all so much. Bye.